Good morning, welcome back to the Gosforth Handyman Tips Library. Today's tip is all about dividing angles and working out if you've got two kind of things that join up at a certain angle and you want to divide that angle and split it exactly in half, what's the best way of doing that? There's numerous ways of doing that, by the way. Obviously, if you've got like a digital angle finder thingy, then it's dead easy because you just find out the angle and divide it by two and jobs are good. And I'm going to show you how to do it the traditional way with just a normal angle finder thingy and a pair of compasses. Obviously, if you already know how to divide angles and find exactly the halfway point of an angle, you might find this a bit boring or you might find it truly fascinating. So this particular method of bisecting an angle or dividing angles is really handy for all sorts of things. You know, if you're doing skirting boards around a bay window or something like that, and you've got all the skirtings that are at funny angles, you need to divide your angles up. On this particular example here, I'm making this door and all of these need to be at a particular angle. So just a subsidiary tip, um, this is the angle that this is at, and I've measured that on site and I've locked it into my angle finder. Bonus tip for you, once you've locked it into your angle finder like that, if you don't have a digital one, you can't make note of it. Just get a scrap of paper and just mark it out on a scrap of paper. So just get your angle and just draw around it. Just in case this gets knocked and you lose your angle or whatever, make sure you've got a record of that angle because you don't want to be going back to site. So in this particular example, I'm doing this little bit here. So we know that this angle here is basically that. So this bit here needs to be exactly half that. So we need to bisect this angle here to get exactly half of it for this side and half of it for that side. So I'm going to show you how we do that. So it's handy to have, I mean, normally I just do it on the bench or whatever I've got lying around, but uh, my bench is a bit scruffy in this area of my workshop. So I've just got, uh, let's get that out the road. I'm just going to use a, a scrap of melamine that I've got kicking about here. Honestly, just do it on anything you've got lying around. So the first thing you want to do, just trace out the angle on whatever you've got. So I've done a rubbish job of that. Uh, actually, we'll do it this way. So the key thing here is that we need to get this intersection point, which I can't get to because we've got the, the nut in the road on that. So I'm just going to grab a ruler and just continue these lines along. This is one of these jobs that when you're doing it in real life, it takes less than like 30 seconds, but because I'm trying to explain it, it's going to obviously take a little bit longer. All we're going to do is get a pair of compasses and I'm going to make this fairly wide. It doesn't really matter what width you make it, but the wider you can get it, the more accurate it'll be. So I'm going to go fairly far out on that. So I'm going to put the tip of the compasses and the tip of the compass, comp I, compass on this intersection exactly on that. And then we're going to do a little mark there, a little mark there. And then all we'll do, put the tip there. That's about as big as I can get these. And we're going to go about there. You need to imagine a dividing line coming up this direction. So we need to make sure that this mark, the arc that we're making on that side, is going to cross the arc that we're making on this side, on the intersection there. That's it. Let me just zoom out a bit so you can actually see what I've done there. I'll do a new uh, intersection just so you can see it again. I'm just going to make it slightly smaller. It do, as I say, it doesn't matter what size you make it. So I'm going to put that on the corner there. Sometimes it's good to do two and then you can sanity check. They should line up. Again, I'm trying to get into the little hole that I made there. Okay. And then all we do to find out the dividing angle is follow from the intersection there through there. And look at that. Perfectly go through both points. 
So that's our, that angle there is now exactly the same as that angle there. You want to get this pretty exact. So I'm lining up with that dead on. What you can do can make life a little bit easier is if you've got a scrap of wood or something that you can put on that angle. Preferably something that doesn't have goob on it. And then you can just butt up against it like that. Lock it in. And then head over to the mitre saw and cut it at that angle. So all we'll do, take your angle gauge that you've set, bring that round to line up. Now I know that my slot on this is pretty accurate to the blade. If you're not confident that your slot on the table bed is perfectly in line with your blade, then measure this angle to the blade itself. Obviously make sure the power is off, but I know that this slot is pretty accurate. So I'm just gonna, I've got that flush against the fence. Just checking that with my fingers. That is absolutely bob on. Lock that in place and then just cut the angle. Obviously safety specs on, etc., etc. And then for the other side of the joint, I'm gonna flip this piece. And then if you just reset your angle finder back to your original angle, before you bisected it, should, if you've done everything right, find that these two together go back to your original angle that you had. There we go. Perfectly divided and that's how you get a perfect angled joint. There you go. I hope you found that useful. If you're watching this on a Saturday morning, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. If you're watching it at any other time, well, just have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new to the channel and I shall see you next time. Bye.